What's up guys and welcome back to the bustling and beautiful Night City. Today we are going to be checking out the new ending to Cyberpunk 2077. So well, when the game first launched we had four endings plus a secret ending and now with the release of the Phantom Liberty expansion we have a sixth potential ending you can unlock depending on the choices you make in the expansion. So uh, let's see what happens here. Very excited about this. I think this could potentially be the best ending that we have yet. And uh, obviously, if you haven't played or watched Phantom Liberty yet in its entirety, then there are spoilers ahead. So we want to go to the rooftop above Misty's Esoterica. We're going to the roof. So uh, yeah, major spoilers ahead. Just know that I'll, I'll give you guys a couple seconds in case you don't want to know. If you guys watched my playthrough of Phantom Liberty, you know, at the very, very end, we chose an alternate option and we decided to give Songbird up in exchange for Reed's promise that he was going to use that one, you know, fix on us. He was going to find his um, surgeons at Langley. He was going to make sure that we were cured. And I think we're getting rid of Johnny. Say you told the FIA to stick their offer where the sun don't shine. I'm sorry, Johnny. Just don't make the call to Reed. We'll find another way. Do what now? Message. Didn't see it? They want to wipe me. Need me to explain the ins and outs? <laughs> Shit was clear as the summer sky already. Do you think they'd suck you out of one head, drop you in another? Well, thought I'd get packed and shelled. And in the best of all possible worlds, that you'd help me hop on the net. Not that they'd excise me like some fucking tumor. Oof. You've reached a port of no return. Once you call Reed, you'll be locked out of all unfinished jobs and other activities like gigs until you've completed the main storyline. If you have any unfinished business, you'd rather complete, settle it before choosing to wait for the FIA AV. We're doing it, Johnny. I'm sorry. You gotta go. Something that might work versus a surgical procedure. Choice is clear, Johnny. Raising Reed on the hollow. Meeting point. You there? Bet I am. Actually eager to be clinic bound. AV's on his way. It won't be long now. So this is how it ends. How else do you see it playing out? It's my body. Hmm. And it's my life. Reed texted us. One of the doctors is telling me the procedure could last a few days to remove every last trace of that Ingram. It's going to be a shock to your system, so expect several weeks of rehab on top of that. Get your ducks in a row, and I'll see you soon. One more thing. While waiting on your transport, use the time to tie up any personal loose ends. Inform anyone near and dear that you're going to be out of town. So we can, uh, I guess we could text Victor. Hey, Vic, if I wanted to let you know, I'll be... Out of NC for a couple of weeks, if anyone asks. Vacation? Had enough Merc work? Well, uh, let's call it medical leave. Gonna go take care of business, Vic. Got a new lead on the relic, huh? Hope you know what you're doing. There's plenty of quacks out there eager to prey on the desperate. No need to worry, they're legit. But I appreciate the concern. Can we text, uh, I wanted to text Panem, but it's, it's fine. All right, let's just, let's just wait for the AV. This is it. We are carving Johnny out of our head. No returning from this. He's a bit of cancer. He's also a bit of friend. I'm sorry, man. James Weiss, FIA. I guess you're V, is that right? If I may, it's an honor to meet the man who rescued the president of the NUSA. Right. Thanks. Where's Reed? Didn't make the trip with you? He got held up. On assignment. Not to worry. You're in good hands. Come on inside. Doc Lozano will evaluate your condition, make sure you're stable. A little bit nervous. I'm nervous. Not gonna lie. So Reed didn't even cut. Is this a trap? Osano, pleasure. I'll be among those operating on you. 
Let's start with a quick nervous system scan. You mind giving me your personal link? Do we really trust these guys? So, how's it looking, Doc? Hmm. I'd say the prognosis is good. Neural network degradation looks reversible. Want to bid the city goodbye? Mind opening the door? Don't worry. You'll be back here in no time. You'll never be too sure. Just open it. You shook my hand, Weiss. Indulge me. Leaving this life behind. Good old Night City. Most reliable of late capitalism's human meat grinders. Survived it once. Do well to remember that. If you're ever tossed back in again. I'm sure I'll handle it. Slipped up occasionally. But learned a buttload over the last few weeks. Interesting. Cause I see someone who's come all this way without learning shit. <laughs> Love you too, buddy. Appreciate you, Johnny. Congrats. Can feel proud of what you've become. Who's your call? Wouldn't think twice about having me killed. That's why I don't really feel that bad. I'm, it's How the sad. Fuck but... Would you know? Never bothered trying to understand who I am, what I'm about. I understand you well enough. You're a fucking narcissist. Look who's talking. Go ahead, pin the blame on me. Keep that conscience clean and sparkly. Even now, all you can think is to bicker. <laughs> is it so damn hard to say, look V, didn't see eye to eye and everything, but at least it was nice knowing you? You want me to act like this? Us was just a big nothing burger. And we'll just drift off into sweet slumber. Except only one of us is waking up. I'm sorry, Johnny. Sorry you couldn't go out on your terms. The way you wanted. Shouldn't be like this, I know. You're just spewing words. Fine. Yeah. I wanted you to hear him. Could have been solid ass tombs in another life. Wondering why we weren't in this one. We were too much alike. Stubborn to a fault. Iron willed. Glued to our principles, you and I. Think that's what I respect most about you. Sticking to your guns. Good to hear. No telling what we'd have achieved if we really put our heads together. No pun intended. I've got readings spiking. Strong emotions. Yep. He'll do that to me. Let's do this. We want your brain burden free. Never know how stress might affect it. This is it, kiddo. Yes. So? Think we can find it in our heart to forgive each other? Yeah. I can. You? Think I can, too. <laughs> oh my gosh. I wish there was any other way. There, it, there's no option. Th this was the only oh, choice for us, Johnny. You get any sleep? Yeah, no matter. Time you got up. Jackie? V, you in there? Yeah, about time, Holmes. Be 
be all right, V. You'll see. We're hearing Jackie's voice as we're waking up out of surgery. To turn to. You know, like uh, family. Take care, V. Maybe you'll find your own down in IC. Sweet dreams, then. You weren't dreaming, V. Those were memories. Afterlife. See you there. They're opening. I think he sees me now. Reed, can you hear me? Reed's here. I heard voices. Lots. Was that you? Me, doctors, probably some dreams. Doesn't matter. You're awake now. He held up on his deal. Is that you? Seem different somehow. Even almost look like. Stay at Langley long enough, it uh makes you its own. I'm no exception. I was told you got a new job, new duties, lots of them. Busy bear. No time for me. Who said that? When? Weiss. In the AV. You weren't there. Right, that. Wasn't any reason for me to be there then. Now? Yeah. I felt I owed you this. I need to ask how it's so me. Everything work out all right? I've been cut off from updates for a while now. Uh, She's alive. That's, oh, that's all good. I know. I mean, did the surgery the work? I have to welcome. know. Just missing flowers and a get well card. Given I'm here, guess things worked out all right, huh? Never that simple. Doc saved you. You alive? Hearing a big ass butt in there. Cause there is one. Deep invasive work on your nervous system. To cut the Angram out safely. Telling me I wiped Johnny. Sacrificed him for nothing. Not for nothing. You're alive. What's the catch here? Your neurons can no longer handle most implants. Chrome. Your brain can manage your personal link and simple code processors. But any use of a combat implant, well, it could kill you. I'm sorry, V. But the life you used to know is gone. There's, uh, one other thing. You were out for two years. It's 2079. What? Fuck. My whole life down the shitter. It's rough, I know. It'll take, uh, it'll take getting used to. <sighs> but it gets better. Trust me. Two years and sapped nerves. That all your best docs can manage? I mean, you're alive. I wish I could help you, V, but I can't. Need some air. No point in being sorry for ourselves. We made this choice and we're alive. They, they successfully completed it. Shell of who we used to be, but we're not dead. Oh, legs of Joey. Can barely stand. Been laid up for two years, V. Oh, this is so sad. What? 
What about my chrome? Your implants have been deactivated. It needed to do it. Your survival depended on it. Need to get out of here. And see, when can I go back? Today, if that's your wish. But you should ask yourself... Preen, where's my stuff? Be listen to me. Your body... It ain't going back to what it was. And Nancy's a city where you just won't manage. Not anymore. Why the hell you care? We truly appreciate what you did for us. We can set you up with a job here at Langley. I am becoming a corpo. No. Office like that. Not ready for him yet. That would be the smart thing to do, though. Understood. I still wanted you to know right off that you had the option. Look. My world just shattered. Like... Into splinters. Really think I can plan my next career move? Besides... This isn't my life, Reed. But it could be. Given your old one is long gone. Dunno, someday maybe. Need to think. But now, going home to NC, definitely. Didn't escape death just to waste away here. <sighs> Up to you. Once you know where you're headed, call the nurse. And if you change your mind, you know where to find me. Reed? This... story... We do the right thing. Could we have done better? I don't know, V. And I won't try answering. Just plain afraid. We're saved, but what price did we really pay for it? I'm happy to hear Somi's still alive. Can use the laptop to do what? NC Inquirer. Where did all the homeless go? Did this? It's two years later. Can you imagine waking up from a surgery you thought we're gonna? You're gonna be out like two weeks. You wake up is two years later. All your friends, your family, everyone you care about in the dark on what happened. Just a shell of who we used to be. No chrome, no implants. Hair's been shaved off. Look at this. Victor says, you still out there somewhere? It's like you vanished into thin air. You said a couple of weeks, but it's well past it now. By my count, it's been four months, V. Do my best not to jump to any conclusions. Do me a favor, let me know if you're alive, all right? I hope this old man sleep at night. We had six missed calls from Victor. Let's give him a call. I'm only Our favorite Ripper dog. Once, I'm in no mood for pranks. So if you don't, hey there, Vic. V, is it really you? What? Write me off that fast? <laughs> Got to admit, I knocked back a glass or two over your symbolic grave. But how are you? Why? So, this netrunner I met got me involved in this FIA op. They promised surgery, a cure, using the runner's tech in exchange. And it worked, but not without complications. Two year coma for one. God damn it. That's a chunk of life there. Yep. I mean,. They saved me. New lease on life, but... Chrome's a no-go for me now. Even simple muscle boosters. Is that what they told you? Quacks, I bet. They overlook something. I just know it. Come see me, V. Ugh. Think I stand a chance of being normal again? My old self? Of got a pace. I was pacing the phone. Does wonders. <laughs> World changes, moves on. Vic's ever the last reliable resort. Yeah. I'll see you, V. You know the address. So Vic thinks he might be able to save us, but I really think he uh, could potentially kill us. Use the intercom. 
to leave the clinic. Where's the intercom at? How can I help you? Night City. Can I get a flight there? Of course. An AV is ready and waiting. I'll come get you now. I mean, I don't think we're really strong enough to leave, but... Back on your feet. It's nice to see that finally. So we, I mean, we lived. We're no longer a ticking time bomb. Johnny's gone. Never gonna have a visit from him again. Never gonna have another panic attack. Sir, did you happen to hear my question? I asked if you find the liquor I procured for your friend suitable. Oh, Duggan? Yep, perfect. 18 years? Exactly the one I had in mind. They're gonna love it. Sorry, uh, zoned out for a sec. That's quite all right. Night City can indeed overwhelm the occasional nuke. Might I ask how you feel? Like an outcast. Feels like just yesterday I was part and parcel of this town. Now I'm a goddamn tourist. My deepest apologies. We've only met once before. Hence my hasty conclusion that you're not a native. Indeed, Night City has since changed quite significantly. Met before, Dell. You just don't remember because of that data reboot. If you say so. Don't believe me? I have no reason to disbelieve you, sir. I am merely of the opinion that this information changes not. Fair enough. Man, been a while since I was last here. What else has changed? The most significant is Arasaka pulling the bulk of its operations out of Night City. I imagine you could be interested in hearing the latest news. I shall turn on the radio. Please do. And now, this week's scorching hot question, Yorinobu Arasaka, what happened? Joining us today, Masao Adams, author of Arasaka's biography. Glad to have you on the show. It's a pleasure to be here, Steph. Arasaka's spokesperson recently announced that Yorinobu has stepped down as CEO. True or big fat baloney? Well, Stan, we're talking about a man who once went into voluntary familial exile to join a nomad clan in direct conflict with his own father's agents. The idea that someone like him would remove themselves from the picture is just not plausible. The city's gone to hell. So Needs somebody to clean it up. 2079. Help. But then, so <laughs> what end? I think it's simple. Yorinobu deliberately tried to destroy Arasaka. His biography attests to that. Eventually, the board woke up and proceeded to excise this saboteur within. Oh, fascinating theory. One all you listeners can read all about in Masao Adams' latest book, The Prodigal Phoenix. Hmm. Our sock is on the back foot, huh? It appears so. Other corporations have wasted no time in attempting to fill the void. Well, Johnny, you got your wish. Our sock is on the way out. Except it's like playing Whack-A-Corp. Hit one, three others pop up. Uh, are you talking to me? No. An old friend. To myself. Doesn't matter. I really wish there could have been a happy ending for Johnny. I mean, ultimately, he... In a way, it's a happy ending, because he was stored on that trip. He was in prison forever, so now his soul is free, I guess. Just wish there was a way we could have uploaded him to the net. He could have been with his love interest, Alt. He could have, you know, lived in cyberspace for forever, but... Thank you for choosing this Delamain service. I shall await here for your return. Appreciate you, Del. Better get going. One last thing, if I may. We all eventually run out of fuel. But that hardly means the journey wasn't pleasant. I really like that. Those are words to live by. We're all gonna run out eventually. Might as well make sure you enjoy the journey. Dude, we can't even sprint anymore. We can't jump, we can't double jump. I mean, I think... This is kind of a... Hey man, hold up! Ah, oh, God. 
Come on. Do we gotta? You're not from around here, are you? Yeah, I'm just gonna ignore it. Uh. I was born in this town. Can't be more from around here than that. I'll engage. Oh, really? Then why I never seen you over at Gabrielle's? Don't know no Gabrielle. See that? I knew it. Some new kids on the block. Two years and they forget your name. We should be legend in this city. Welcome to our Zeta Tech Network Clinic. How may I help you? Oh my goodness, he's done some upgrades. What is this? <laughs> the chimes, incense, candles. Where are they? You're sure to find something of the sort in town. I'm not asking about that. Esoterica shop. That's what this was. Well, apparently, not anymore it isn't. <laughs> Here to see Victor. Mind if I go through? Do you have an appointment? Don't need one. Yeah, private one. Ah, right. I see a note right here. Please hurry in. The next patient is due to arrive soon. I mean, he was saying that he's had some upgrades in tech and stuff. I didn't expect this. Question is if he's going to be able to get us back on our feet or not. Honestly, I I wouldn't mind taking that reborn life. I'll go work at Langley. Push some papers on a desk and appreciate the fact that I'm alive. Vic? <laughs> what the hell are you wearing? Oh, back off, V. They make me wear this damn thing. Something about meeting safety standards. Doubt it. Given I almost got a brain hemorrhage seeing it. <laughs> <laughs> You're making a habit of this. Rising from the dead. Can't get rid of me. I actually thought I'd never see you again. Come on, you're stuck with me. Not about to go away. The good stuff. I'd be lying if I said the thought of you gone never crossed my mind. To a happy return, then. They have this rule, no drinking anywhere in the clinic. I could get reprimanded. Ooh. Well, hang on a minute. Oh, same one Jack and I knocked back. Championship bout for the middleweight title. Malone vs. Kano. Remember it as if it was yesterday. Life is simpler somehow, wasn't it? Yeah, good times. Things changed, no denying it. Jackie's gone. So is Misty's shop. <laughs> and all her sense. All right, come on, hop in the chair. Really think this could work? Rather avoid any false hopes. You'll be fine, trust me. Guys at Langley've got nothing on. So tell me, Victor. what's it like to be back among the living? <laughs> what can I say? The world, life, we moved on. Didn't wait around for me. You're all I got left. I know where you're coming from. Reach my age, you can find you have nothing in common with those you considered near and dear. And this is how your case. Age ain't exactly the only change. What are you trying to say exactly? The hell happened, Vic? So many years resistant. Let them buy you out now? Why? They piled the pressure on V. I mean, anonymous threats of arson included, over and over. I ran out of options. I had to do what was best for the clinic. Always got a choice, Vic. Always. If that's the case, I'd like to believe I chose well. Asked Misty what she thought before you signed? Of course I did. What'd she say? Well, she said a lot of things. Sure she did. She is the sensitive sort. Changes unpleasant ones happening all around her. She stopped feeling good here. I no wonder. I miss her. Hope 
things work out for her. Hope they work out for all of us. Think we could have chosen better? All of us? No. Huh. No hesitation. Respect. If there'd been better options, we'd have picked them. Or convinced ourselves they weren't better at all. Vic. <laughs> Sensible as ever. And with achievable dreams. I never could settle on those. You'll learn. If you say so. Well, your core looks fine. Good even. Let's take a look at your motor cortex. Ooh. Systems compatibility 23%. Hmm. 230 millisecond response time. Error on the pain editor. Can't say I like that. Hmm. First time I've seen anything like this. Your cortex seems to have turned deaf to implant signals. Maybe reinstall the neuroport firmware. No, no, that did. Maybe switch to binary signaling. That's a risk of shock. Life threatening. You said kind. you can do something, Vic. Maybe. I. I was wrong. I'm sorry. See, Vic? Told you. No I thought he was going to have an absent. I'm limited. Fuck. And you're a corpo ripper. You make it sound like you've got nothing to look forward to. You've changed, yes. But you're alive. Look at me. I had to adapt, too. Still doing what I most love, though. Just two years. You may not see it. Time's passed differently for me, so... I do see it. You're plain unhappy. Pretending to be your former self. <clears throat> you really think so? Vector, come on quick. I ran into trouble. Need surgery. It's <clears throat> Ah, are you running late? I can now, Tyler. Drop in tomorrow. Drop in tomorrow? This is my friend. No affiliation to the firm. Come back later, please. It's important to me. <clears throat> you got it wrong, man. You're on contract. Tyler, please. Vector. Got a patient, no. Vic. Don't worry about me. Ugh. V. You can't know how sorry I am. Vector. What a hey, bitch! Swing by to see me anytime, yeah? Of course. Of course I'll drop by. Close the door on your way out, okay? I need to look to Tyler's pressing problem here. Look at the if size of the night. Some kind of shit storm. Huh. All right. What can I tell you? I really what thought he was gonna have an option for us. Close the door. I, I I really thought he was gonna have some miracle you're fixed, you can go on. So now we're in this futuristic world where everyone has all these enhancements, all these abilities our worth and, and value was based on our ability to, you know, handle business and be this Cyber super soldier, and we can't have any of it. Now we're just a regular human. Oh gosh, I'm not looking for trouble, guys. I can't, I can't handle it right now. All right, I don't, I don't need. Any. Well, well, see that Jimmy? He a corpo rat. Chill, man. Easy. Come on, hand over your scratch. Let's go. I still have a gun. Not a good time, Chumba. Like I give a shit. Give me money. No, a few peeps here. They'd see this as a fucking problem. Some boss dog gonna scare me? F Padre instills a fear of God and man. <laughs> oh, rogue cooped on Las Haywood. I don't think so. Booyah!
V? V? Misty! What happened to you? Uh, Misty? Easy now. Are you in one piece? Damn. No chance I'd recognize you on the street. That jacket you're wearing. Jackies? <laughs> yeah. You look almost the same. A bit wilted, maybe, but... Yeah. Time kind of stopped for me. What's up with you? Feeling okay? Honestly... Feel fucking hopeless. Lost everything, Just Misty. Just got thrashed by two lame-ass thugs. But why didn't you defend yourself? Couldn't. I... <laughs> Long story. I thought this was gonna oh. be a happy ending. Is that the relics doing? Relic's gone. I know I should be worried, but honestly, I'm just so glad to see you. Jeez. You're welcome. <laughs> so damn nice. I actually feel better already. It must be hard for you, I know. But hardships pass too. As all things. Probably got it right. Just darn hard to believe right this second. You saw what happened. Can't even stand up to a couple of random dipsos. Where do I go from here? You'll learn to live like us regular folk. Avoid dark alleys, run when you hear gunfire. Not much more to it. <laughs> that your bread and butter? Welcome to the world of the faces in the crowd, V. My ride will be here soon, but... I still got a minute or two to talk. I really missed you, you know? Where are you going? Orbital air terminal. Then to Poland. To this really ancient forest there. Setting out to find yourself? Find some work, actually. I'll roam the wilderness. Ticket hikers for feeding candy to bison. <laughs> Sounds like a nice I life. I need a break from the city. And the crowds. Man, of all people, never thought I'd see you leave in Night City. Strange story, actually. You know what made me decide to leave? Take your cue from your cards? Nah, it wasn't the cards. Close, though. My favorable store burned down one day. Went there to buy some white sage and saw a charred mess instead. It was then I realized nothing's the same anymore. Jackie was gone, mewed up and ghosted. I decided to close the esoterica on the spot. I couldn't help other people find balance if I'd lost it myself. Nothing lasts forever. Gonna recover your peace of mind, Misty. Probably. Then I'll lose it again. Don't we all? Recover it. But most likely, it'll always be different. A piece built on something new. Could use a smoke, too. Here. Gotta say, never imagined you with a cigarette in hand, Misty. Takes the edge off. Just started needing that. Don't know what comes next, Misty. What to do? Nothing makes sense anymore. That was me yesterday. Had no hope anything good would ever happen to me again. And then I but came along. Mm hmm. Turned out that an old friend of mine is still alive. Gotta love her. Hmm. FIA offered me a job. Well, it could be a place to plant your butt for a while. What are you thinking? To me? It'd be early retirement at a desk. I don't think we have many other retirement choices, V. does mean rest, I suppose. 
I still think you have other options. Probably lots. Know what? I think you're right. No point in giving up. Maybe... <laughs> Dunno, I'll... Be a fixer. A change in your outlook's what you need first. Won't make it otherwise. Faces in the crowd. Their world, V. Remember that. A face in the crowd. So, somewhere to start anew? Gonna go looking? Feel like it's time There's to so leave. So many places I've yet to see. Maybe leaving is the best option. Might actually find the new me. Somewhere out there. If you land in a certain ancient forest in Poland, I'll help you look. <laughs> My ride will be here soon. Walk me to it. Just a broken man. I thought this was going to be the ending where we healed ourselves and lived happily ever after. It's the ending where we healed ourselves. So, till we meet again, I guess. And I think surviving might have been worse than dying. Hope so. Oh, V, do you still have that pendant I gave you? Huh. Oh. Must have misplaced it. Don't go looking for it. Doesn't matter anymore. I think it was on the desk in the hospital, and I don't think I picked it up. Oops. Sorry. That's I, I could get it for you if you want. I'll I'll ship it to Poland. Not a big deal. They're facing the crowd. Yeah, I don't know. I'm happy we got to live, but the cost was losing everything we know and love. We'll never see Johnny again. We'll never see a lot of our friends again. Everyone's leaving. Everything's changed. We can't be an asset. We can't run the city anymore. Our entire life has died. The idea of becoming an FIA agent and, and starting a new, I guess, isn't terrible. I cannot deny I am pretty fucking impressed. Used to be quite a lot of talk about your exploits at the afterlife. Even had a few folks gunning for you to have your own concoction on the menu. Maybe we leave them secure in their convictions. Maybe that's better. Don't get me wrong, doors always open. You'll always be welcome at my club. But your legend, well, could wilt a bit more with each visit. <laughs> Give it a think. Not as if we'd ever forget you, you know? Just doesn't feel very V. I know you are in Night City and in good health. No more biochip in your head. Congratulations, V. Much time has passed. I did not know what to tell you. I needed the words of old samurai. He expressed my thoughts. Good, strong medicine is bitter to the mouth. This is pretty bitter, Takamura. When you disappeared, I and Hanako-sama confronted Yorinobu. His allies. We tried to capture Arasaka Tower. We could not. They were strong. Hanako-sama is dead. 
I am called her murderer. I have been hiding for two years. My life is now the trash heap. Where I found you, I wish for you to know this. You are very strong medicine, B. Mm. I look back at times and what happened. Think about you, Songbird. We did right. That I know. Why do I keep asking myself if I could have done things differently? You saw what she's capable of. I had to stop her. And maybe, maybe punish myself. Is that it? Dude, everyone's it life... It fucking hurts, but it should hurt, shouldn't it? Is in the shitter. Everyone has regrets. Avi, it didn't quite work out in our last talk, huh? What do you say to giving it another try? We'll drink some beers, watch a legacy fight. Downtime to look back upon fondly in our new lives. They're looking to redo the clinic. Sending me off to Frisco of all places. <sighs> a new beginning for everybody, I guess. Though I have to say, some proper closure could make it all easier to bear. It would, for me at least. You think you'd be up for that? This is hard. Uh, I really wanted this to be the good happy ending where we survived. I guess we lived. We lost everything we loved. Everything changed for a lot of people. Almost none of it good, but we survived. And we are able to get rid of Johnny. So there you guys have it. That, my friends, is the sixth and final ending here for Cyberpunk 2077. Absolutely incredible game. Love what CD Projekt Red has done. And can't wait to see what's next. I'm pretty sure this is the only expansion this game's going to get. This is kind of the last major update of it. So hopefully we get Cyberpunk 2079 or prequel, sequel. I don't know. Who knows what's next, but... Hopefully it comes soon. I'll see you guys there. Peace out.